I'm Molly here with Rose City RV of Michigan, and today we want to take a look at this No Boundaries 19.6. So, is this the right model for you, you might ask? Here are five key specifications to help you decide. This model sleeps up to three people, has a weight of 4,860 pounds, has an overall length of 24 feet 8 inches, has a height of 10 feet 6 inches, and features one slide. Okay, as you can see, we'll start here in the front. We have nice illumination lights on each side, which are cool little night lights. The switch for that's located right here, so that's quick, easy, and convenient. We also have dual 110 outlets on both sides of the bed, as well as dual 12 volt USB ports on both sides of the bed. So everyone has a million devices these days, CPAP machines, whatever you might need, you'll have the power for that, which is nice. This is a Murphy bed, and I always thought this graphic was really cool they put up here as this is kind of an off-grid unit. Just gives you a cool little map look. This simply flips down as easy as you just saw, and then we have a little spring-loaded travel lock here. We just pull that, flip that down, and as easy as that is, we now have our mattress. If you never wanted to put that away, you wouldn't have to. The slide can come in without it. You can leave this bed down in the down position. When it's pouring rain, if you want to flip it up real quick, and in 30 seconds, you can have your, your additional couch back, which you do have one here in the slide as well. So if you have extra guests, you can do that too. But like I said, you can leave this down all the time if you wanted to. Next to the bed, you also have reading lights there, which are nice, those little puck lights. And those turn on by simply just pushing the middle button like so. And then we have a nice front window with the shade located there as well. Okay, so moving to the dining area. These brown leather chairs are really nice. Um, they're a really smooth finish. They look really nice. It looks rich and luxurious. This countertop is a live edge countertop as you can see here. Um, it feels really nice and it looks nice. It complements the chair as well. We also have our 12 volt TV so even when you're off grid you can watch TV without um, killing your batteries which is nice. We have a big round sink right here in the kitchen area. And then we have um, some controls right here for our inverter here. This is going to be our remote that kind of gives you an idea of what's happening with the inverter if you're running 110 power without a power source. Then we have an additional 110 plug there for kitchen appliances, whatever you need, as well as here. They don't short you on that. Dual storage here. So each side, one side with drawers, which is nice. And then... The other side is just going to be some cabinet space. Then we have our couch slide here. This flips down into a bed as well. If you do want to sleep additional people, you could sleep two kids there pretty easy. Um, and yeah, I mean, two small adults you could put there, but really one. Um, but this really is a couple's coach as well, so not necessarily designed for extra sleepers, but if you need to, you can. Also, we have our table. Um, we're just, we store it here. They suggest you store it here. That's what the strap is for when you travel. Um, but you have that ability if you um, want to use that inside. But you can also use that outside too, which is nice. And then we have an emergency egress window here in the slide with some storage over top as well. Moving on back to the kitchen area, we have some more nice illumination lights here. That switch is going to be over here on the side. Another nice little night light if you want it to be, but that's designed to be a spice rack. Regular um, convection microwave there. And then underneath of that, we have central vac. So that's really a nice feature. Sweep, lift this up, and it'll suck it right into a bag. So. You can do that nice, quick, and easy. I do like that feature. You don't see it as much as you used to, but it is nice. Then we have our cute little two-burner cook stove. That's really all people, most people need. Up top, we have our range hood with our light and fan. Um, and then up top, more storage. Which is nice. Coming over here, we have our converter location, which is right here. This is going to be where all your fuses and your breakers are. 
Next to that we have our CO2 and propane um, leak detector. Always make sure that's functioning. That's the most important safety feature on the whole coach. Um, as long as your smoke detector, is, along with your smoke detector as well. Then we have our 12 volt uh, refrigerator here. Um, this is going to give you a lot more space, which we all like. Because Lord knows there's never enough space in the refrigerator. And the freezer is an actual size freezer. Um, you don't get that with the old gas electrics. So that's a plus. Moving on, we have our um, Air Excel thermostat located here. This is going to be both for the furnace and the air conditioner. Your air conditioner is right up there. That's going to be a Coleman Mach air conditioner. And then our furnace is located right here. This being a smaller coach, you don't have ducted in here, um, which is fine. There's less spots for critters to, to be in a trailer when you don't have ducting, so that doesn't bother me a bit. I prefer that method. And then um, the furnace being away from the bed, I also prefer because sometimes these things will roast you out. So being back here, it'll help that temperature just be a little bit more even throughout the coach. Moving into the bathroom, the bathroom is fairly big. We have a corner shower here. And these are going to be magnets. Sometimes they're tough. So I pull those apart. We also have a shower miser in this. Um, we've mentioned the shower miser a few times. We'll have a separate video that we can link for you on that, on the shower miser. Um, that's a really cool feature. It helps you recycle the water. But like I said, we'll teach you about that in a different video. Always make sure this is latched while traveling so these don't slam around and bust on you. And then we have... A light switch in here and we have some controls in here um, as you can see we have heated holding tanks so this gives you individual switches a lot of times they're just on one switch so that might be nice if you're not running all of them just kind of allows you to, to conserve and then our monitor panel is located here that's going to give you the um, function of the water heater there um, the gas function the electric function will be outside which we'll show you and then our water pump switch there, along with our battery, fresh water, black water, and gray water levels. So when you push these, you can see they illuminate there. Not a foolproof system, but at least it gives you an idea. And then next to that, we have our 30 amp solar controller. It's going to be a little wonky right now because we don't have it hooked up um, with a battery and stuff. So um, that's a really cool feature that allows you to see more of an accurate percentage on your battery versus the monitor panel. Um, so when that's functioning, your batteries are hooked up, you're getting solar, it'll give you voltage, wattage, and amperage for the battery so you can see what you're using, what your incoming is. So that's always nice. Um, this, like I said, has solar built on. This one also has an additional panel, so there's actually 400 watts of solar on this model. Um, and you always want to make sure that that voltage is being regulated. That's what the job of this is, otherwise you would um, blast your battery there. So if you're going to think about solar, Always make sure you have that solar controller up and working the way it should be. Then we have our stool here, and then um, pretty basic uh, 110 outlet down there, which is nice, some storage, and then a sink and a vanity here. Okay, so before we move outside, we'll move to this spot, which is our, um, we wouldn't call this a monitor panel, but you could because you really have some more um, switches and stuff, but it's, it's more just switches, not monitors. We've got our awning, our slide room, our light for our awning, our porch light switch, and then the main interior light switch there. Moving down here, this is a really cool thing. Um, I don't know any other brands that are using this. I'm sure there are. Um, but I have not seen them. They're providing you with a pizza peel here, and they actually give you this those pizza um, oven cooktop replacement. So we'll show you outside, but it's a pizza oven that goes on top of the um, flat top. You just remove the flat top, put that in place, and then now you have a new pizza oven. It's really a cool thing. I, I haven't seen that other than Nobo, so cool, cool feature for them. And then also underneath of here, we have another 12-volt um, USB hookup as well. And then in our um, shelving here, we have some hang space if you want. We've got some individual shelves you could use as a pantry or clothing, whatever you want. And then they also give you a lockbox. So if you are traveling, you can keep whatever you want in there secure. And then you could also hide it behind other things. So that's nice. Let's uh, head on outside and we'll show you the outside features. 
Okay, moving on to the outside. This does have some cool outside features. We have a full length awning on this model, as you can see. Um, we're missing a foot or two here, but for the most part, it, it goes as long as it can. We have an LED light underneath it here, as I mentioned inside. We also have a porch light there right underneath of that Nobo, or right above that Nobo decal there. Um, if you're wondering what that is, that's our range vent um, exhaust there. Moving on down, we have our 110 outlet located out here. So if you want to plug in any devices, um, you can do that. Then we have our uh, spray port quick disconnect there. So you can spray your feet, wash the dog, whatever you need to. No hot water. This is going to be cold water only. And then we have our gas electric water heater located right here. So the electric switch is out here and the gas switch is located inside where I showed you there. This also has a hot exhaust. Make sure you don't put anything in front of that. Now we have our grill rail here. Um, so this is where you would also put that pizza stone. Uh, it comes with a bracket, which we don't have set up, but we can show you in a different video as well. That just sits right on here, has a quick disconnect port located here, so you plug in. Uses the onboard propane, so you don't have to haul an additional propane tank. So here's the pizza oven, as you can see. It's a really cool little setup there. This is the stone. We don't have it set up, but you can get the idea. That literally just sits on um, what many of you are familiar with, like a, the Blackstone cooktop. Imagine taking the cooktop off, dropping this on there, and now you have a pizza stone. So super cool idea. I'm glad to see that they're innovating. Um, this is our pass-through storage that goes underneath of the bed. We've got some, some goodies stored in there, um, but you actually get a decent amount of storage for a travel trailer. And then they use the... 30 inch um, stabilizer jacks, which I like. This is a higher profile trailer because they're trying to give you more ground clearance with this off, um, off road setup, nice off road tires with our beast mode suspension, which we'll show you more about. Um, so that gives you more stability with the 30 inchers as well instead of the 24s. Coming around to the front, we have a dog leash catch here. Um, so if you want to hook up your dog, you're not looking for a place to do that, you can just easily clip that and you're right into the frame, good and sturdy. We have our uh, front powered tongue jack. So up and down, it's also going to have a little light, which you probably can't see because it's so bright out. And then our manual override on top. Just drop a jack in there if your battery's dead or malfunction and you can turn that manually. Two 20 pound propane tanks located underneath of here. This is our battery shelf. You can obviously put, there's more room so you can put dual batteries. I highly suggest, especially for a unit like this that's off grid. We have our battery disconnect switch, which is right out in the open. Um, so you can easily see it, which is nice. Next to that little yellow thing is our tire pressure monitoring system. So those are already inside of our Goodyear tires. These are Goodyear Wrangler tires. They're very nice tires and they already are equipped with that. It comes with a screen. All you do is turn that on. You can monitor your tire pressure all the time. And then moving over here, this is the other side of our pass-through. So you can see that's nice and big in there. Then we have our freshwater drain located right here. You can see where that um, comes out. We have the cap off right now. And then um, you put the cap on, you fill it up. To fill it up, if you're gonna go to a campground that does not have a water connection, fill that tank, you just put the hose right in there and fill it up till it's full. Underneath of this, we have our city water connection. So if you're at a park that has a water hookup, you can simply hook your hose right up to that and it'll use the um, pressure, water pressure right off the hose. This um, exterior wall construction is Asdell. This is all composite, so Similar to the Rockwood, there is no wood in here. This is awesome. This is the best style of exterior wall construction, in my opinion. Um, it's all composite, like I said, so if you do develop a leak somewhere, there's no mold that can happen. There's no, nothing like that, but it's also um, the process of which it's put together is so much better than like the old hung wall um, style. So that's a whole nother basket of information but this really is the best style it's good and hard and they do the same thing vacuum bonded on the sidewalls of the slide which you don't normally see usually those are just um, the cheap out version so 
good for them for doing that. Now, looking at our suspension here, this is the Beast Mode suspension by Kurt. Um, this is a coilover system. They tow awesome, but also allows you to go over extremely uneven terrain without having any axle problems. We'll provide a link to their video for that, but really a nice feature as well. And then we have our sewer connection, and right here you can notice that this underbell is underbelly is completely enclosed so even our gate valves are underneath of there the gate valves are the little knife valve that you pull so that way the liquid comes out so these are gate valve actuated so they're actually up underneath of here so if you're cold weather camping you don't have to worry about your gate valves uh, freezing up on you and you can pull those right here those are cable actuated just like i said gray and then black located there behind that we have our low point drains um, that's going to be more of a winterization thing, or if you're not going to be using it for a while, you can drain your water system down. And then we have our black tank flush located here. This is a really nice feature. You can hook the hose straight up to this. It sprays at a high pressure rate inside your black tank and helps you dissolve or break up any debris that might be stuck and giving you a false reading on your monitor panel. Underneath of here, we have our cable satellite hookup. So if the park offers you that, you can hook that up and it'll feed the in incoming ports inside the unit. And then we have our 30 amp hookup located here, um, which is on the back section of the RV, which is nice because typically your post is towards the back. And then we have our spare tire located there. We have our furnace exhaust located here. This gets hot, don't put anything in front of it. It can catch something on fire. Uh, license plate bracket there. And then our ladder here which is um, 250 pound rated. So up on the roof, we have our two 200 watt solar panels. So this is gonna be 400 watts of solar right off the lot here without adding anything. We'll show you what that looks like. And other than that, that's gonna be the end of our 19.6 uh, Nobo video. So if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you can see more like this. If you've got comments or questions, please ask. If you'd like to see something, we'd be happy to show you. Just let us know. Thanks for watching.